the Stop It app through FISD um, came out, so you can report it that way. You can report it to 911. Our emergency center is open 24 hours a day. You can also use our tip line 401, or you can report it to a parent who can report it to us as well. Instead of posting it out, Snapchat it to another 30 or 40 people, report it responsibly. Let us know, um, report it through the Stop It app, report it to the police department. Uh, once you report it on Snapchat to another 30 people, that may cause alarm, and we might already know of the threat and deemed it not a legitimate threat, and that just causes more alarm. Yes, like I said, we're available 24 hours a day. We've investigated things at two or three o'clock in the morning before. We've woken up SROs, our school resource officers, so we will investigate at any time of the day. That's the same thing as a false report. Um, if it's through a threatening post, um, we will take actions necessary, make the arrest if we have to, but it's the same as reporting something on social media that you already know that's incorrect and forwarding that on, you're just as guilty as the original person. A false threat falls under the education code again. It's an exhibition of a firearm on a campus. Uh, it's up to a third degree felony, so you could face two to 10 years in prison. And again, even though you might not have started the threat, if you continue to play along with that threat or involved in that threat in any way, you can face the same consequences as, as everyone else. Overall, the false threats pull resources away that are designated for other people that truly need that help. So if we have a large response to a school for a false threat, that's not allowing us to help someone else. So it's important. You don't want to face jail time. We will prosecute. We've met with the school district. They're behind us 100%. And we will prosecute everything to the full extent of the law that allows us.